Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back. Today we're checking out episodes 103, 104, and 105 of One Piece the Anime. Let's get ready to jump in. If you want to see the full and three action, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Gummerable the Channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies we react to each month. We got month QA's, behind the scenes footage, and try to make it worth your while since you are going to way to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. At least if you like, drop a comment subscribe if you're not already huge shout out to the team over at prepper for helping me edit on these highlights for you guys here on youtube and with that all said out of the way let's go ahead and hop into episode 103 here we go <laughs> oh wait is there nothing on it uh, it's probably a hidden message or you need like a light or certain chemical to activate it Oh, obviously not light. Maybe like a flame. I don't know. Like that whole. Oh no! Aww。Shut the hell up. Leave it alone. <laughs> Carry me, Zoro. Two days from now. Uh oh. We're running short on time. Spider's Cafe. <laughs> Miss Merry Christmas. Mr. Four. Wow. It's going to take them a long time to finish any sentence if that's how they talk. Conversation with them has got to suck. Well, hello there, Paula. How are you? Nice to meet you. Looking lovely today. <laughs> oh my God. Shut the hell up. Oh my God. <laughs> You got one who's just popping off non-stop like that, and then one that takes 10 years to finish his sentence. Not very merry of you. It's actually quite rude. Look who it is. With a nosebleed? Well, okay. We've got a little song and dance going on. <laughs> you must be stupid. <laughs> Interesting, so he's never met number one. Well, look who's uh, on the outskirts here. Why even show up if you... Well, d does three even know they're being he hunted? We know that a hit was put out on them. I can't remember if it's come up that he was aware. I'm so... I'm so bored, I spin. Oh! I don't have to go ruining a... Oh, wait. Mr. One. They were acting suspiciously in the desert. Oh, wow. Damn, that ballerina is coming in handy here. Whoa, holy shit. Miss Double Finger. Miss Double Finger. Oh. Oh, so 
What an interesting bunch of characters, man. Oh, whoa! It's like a giant crocodile pyramid. Rain base. Like a cigar smoking turtle. Oh, great. I mean, I would imagine that's that would be fairly common, especially out here. Oh, it looks completely wrecked, though. Yeah, so did Crocodile attack this place already, too? Mm. この町には<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> it does have something to uh, cuz obviously we saw crocodile like create his own uh sandstorm and all this all started around the same time <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we i mean we knew that oh um, well we didn't know that chopper really didn't linger to figure that out we did we saw <laughs> Oh my god, you loser. I mean, and no wonder he's kind of not too thrilled when hearing about the rebel army because it just makes him think of his son, I imagine. I mean, I mean, it would have to. He's leading it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 What's coming our way? Oh. Uh, on top of that, Crocodile's making a move in that amount of time, too. Oh, okay, so it wasn't coming towards us. It was just flashing to what was going on over here. Mm, this is not the shape I think he had in mind when he invited her over, though. But hopefully we can set things back on course. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. I just, like spit all across my desk when I did that. So we have them planning to make a move in which they uh, are willing to sacrifice themselves to take one final shot at the kingdom. Meanwhile, at the same timetable, we have the Baroque Works higher ups all kind of coordinating as well with Crocodile's, I guess, final stage of the plan for this whole operation, for this whole three-year coup that he's been brewing up is going to kick off around the same time. And I just feel like all hell's going to break loose, dude. It's just got to. We just got to figure out how we can kind of, one, get there in time because we are way off track from where we need to be. Thanks to some uh, intel that would have very much been needed had Lashes spoke up at all, who knew this entire time 
where we were going and why. I don't think Chopper wholly understood what was going on or what had happened before until Lashes kind of mentioned the what what here. Again, I'm not sure that Chopper was ever aware until now, so I can't put a lot of fault on Chopper, but yeah, come on. God damn it, you dumbass camel. Oh my God though, Vivi uh, meeting this dude again, who she had, you know, met last when he was here, leaving with Koza to go to establish this city after everything that transpired with those bandits, with the kids and everything. And then that little, oh my God, the just the light in his eyes seeing her there. I teared up. What it means, not just for Vivi, but for both of them and for the country as a whole that has been waiting for her in some way, shape, or form. Oh my God, it moved me. Especially when she was trying to conceal herself. You know, she was pulling up her covering over her face to not, you know, again, not draw any unwanted attention or reveal herself too prematurely. Then Luffy just completely, you know, threw it out there. But yeah, I don't know. That whole scene just really hit me. Uh, I, I, I just, I don't know. I like the storyline. I like this whole thing with uh, them just kind of clinging to hope. And he knows, he knows that Cobra is a good dude at the end of the day. He's seen it firsthand. He was like, he wouldn't betray us, right? And, you know, even, even he's starting to kind of doubt after all these years, but also funny how all these bad things started to happen only within the last three years. Uh, the whole thing with the Broke Works uh, leaders, these agents meeting up at this cafe to get ready to gear up was a lot of fun. We see that they're not even all fully in the know. You know what? The two and them, none of them had even seen Mr. One and then none of them even knew that Paula was Miss Doublefinger and Miss Paula and Miss Doublefinger. I'm just saying. So that whole thing was kind of fun. There was like this implication about whether or not he phased or shattered that wall when Mr. Two punched him through it. So I don't know if that was supposed to call out to any kind of ability he might have because they acted like that wasn't just Mr. Two punching him through a wall. And it did do like this warp effect when he hit it before it shattered. So... I'm curious to see what his shtick is going to be once we get around to it. Then we also met Four and Miss Merry Christmas. Mr. Three was also just skulking outside, looking like he's just like, let me in. I want to come inside by the fire. <laughs> Please, let me in. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm curious to see where all that goes. But I like all these characters, man. I like the, the way they set this up. All Sunday has uh, recruited replacements for all of those billions that were lost few episodes ago to Ace's attack. They've recouped their strength and it's just everybody's gearing up for whatever's going to happen next. So let's go ahead and kind of move on so we can find out what that is. So we're going to go ahead and jump into episode 104. <laughs> what did he hit him with? A pillow, okay. Pillow fight! Oh my god, Sanji. Oh! <laughs> Oh, is he trying to find the source buried beneath all the sand? Luffy, you son of a bitch! <laughs> No! Oh my god, Luffy! No. Damn, he made some progress. 
今夜はしばしの休息を。No, <laughs> he carried him in here. Oh, Casino. I was going to say this place looked kind of Vegas like. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. They got some fucking baddies over here, man. Town of Rain Base. Welcome to Rain Dinners, the largest casino. Oh my god, shut the hell up! Oh wow. Operation Utopia. <laughs> Is that going to be a problem? Ooh. I love that big chonker up there. That's an interesting sound that thing made wow damn it we didn't even get damn it <sighs> keeping it secrets from us still time for alabasta to disappear noon tomorrow Oh. This is kind of a bold move, considering. Wow. <laughs> oh, he figured that was already a given since he failed. Yeah, forgot he didn't know about that. そう言ったんじゃねえのか。私はリトルガーデンで天然虫など使ってませんがね。何が。ああ、ゲットファックト。一人や二人くらいは消したんだろうな。いや、それが。Not a one. <laughs> Two's going to put it together that he was on their ship. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's shit. So he can use that. God, that's eerie. Setting the pet aside. Rude. Oh. Oh. He's drying up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, a banana gator. Oh, my Lord. Holy shit. I love that picture of Luffy right there. <laughs> All of them's great. Man, I can't believe they killed three like that. 
That's brutal. Mmm, lovely. He's got he's got his men infiltrated into both sides of this as well. As well as orchestrating all the other events around this in the nation. Wow. Three's cape just floating by when he says that. Oh, Will you though? Will you? You don't have a good track record of that. What the hell? What? Huh? Oh, I think he's testing her right now. Oh、one closed one open No, he's basically saying like he, she can't shoulder all this alone and she can't put only her life on the line. She's not going to be able to protect everybody. So why not let the people willing to help her do the exact same? I liked that. The reality of the situation is people are going to get hurt. People are going to die. It may not have to be one side or the other, but you can't be the only one to put your life on the line for all of this. Like she can't just be protecting everybody but herself when she's got this crew here. It's like, aren't we your friends? Why aren't you allowing us to put our lives on the line for this? As much as she wants to take down Crocodile, so does he because of everything that's going on. And that's where he equated it to them being pirates. To be a pirate, you have to live your life by putting it on the line. You know, your entire existence, your freedom allots you this constant threat of losing your life. But that's the trade-off. You know, that freedom, that adventure, the open seas. Any moment, your life can be at risk. And that's the point it, that's he's trying to make in this situation. He's like, we, we're, you know, we're fighting this fight. People are going to get hurt. She's got to, unfortunately, have to live with that at the same time and be willing to let any and everyone who's willing to fight for this country and fight for her to be able to make the same call as her. She can't make that call for them, you know, by sheltering them, by holding them back or whatever. So like, it's gotta be 100% or nothing. It was a little heavy handed or maybe not the most gracious of ways of going about it, but it's it's a very Luffy way of going about it. Even Sanji knew like at a moment's glance, like once he started to get into the throes of it all, what was going on and kept Nami from interfering. He's like, wait a second, I think I know what he's doing. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. The revelation, though, that Mr. Three revealed himself and then, you know, told them, like, hey, man, uh, the Straw Hats are here. That communication never got from him to Crocodile. He only knows what Sanji told him. He, uh, that little reveal on Crocodile's face, that reaction, when he figured it out, that that wasn't Three that he was talking to. Oh, that was good. But even after all that, you know, being this close and then having this potential wrench thrown into everything right now as things are coming down to the wire, a little pissed. So despite all of that, you know, he executed. 
Mr. Three. You know, didn't let him join back in. He was like, hey, man, you know why I made you number three? It's not because you're the best fighter or you're the strongest, and that's what we need right now. Right now, we need fighters. Him dropping him down. One, dehydrating him. We got at least, well, maybe not confirmation, but we did get, like, visual confirmation, I guess, from those at the table there that he was dehydrating him. Because I wasn't sure if it was, like, a Sands of Time thing when we saw it at first, because... You know, the bodies did wither or at least prune up, you know, lose all of that definition, nutrients, all that. Everything got sucked out of them. They withered. So I wasn't sure if they were, he was basically like, you know, absorbing their life, which I guess there's a semantic there for, you know, the moisture as well. But I mean, I guess that would line up too with everything. On top of being a desert already for three years, it hasn't rained. The oases have dried up. You know, there's this drought, in essence, all throughout the land that only has coincided with his arrival. Like I said, uh, when he first showed up and we've got that first little glimpse, kind of, of what he could do, I, I couldn't discern whether he was absorbing the water out of them, like draining them, or he was, like, aging them. We at least got a little bit of uh, supporting evidence to kind of lean in the direction that he's got some kind of way of absorbing or pulling out one's moisture from their body. Even the land itself, I might add. I mean, considering he's got this giant aquarium full of water, of all things. I wonder if he's been hoarding it. We're in this, like, Las Vegas area right now with that casino right at its center and them gathering here and Project Utopia is about to kick off. We're building up. We're building up to some fun stuff and I can't wait to see him get into the throes of things and just to kind of see what all these other characters can kind of do. Let's uh let's see if what happens in the next one, man. Let's go ahead and jump into episode 105. <laughs> oh, our map has grown. Every time we cut to Chopper, it just makes me giggle inside. There's zombies. <laughs> <laughs> you camel woman. No, Nami, please. Gum gum, no way. Oh, he's actually trying to, like, not let it go to waste. <laughs> of course I can. How rude. Oh. こいつは戦いの最中俺を構えこの傷を何なら病棟や墓も見ていくそんなもんこわくねえよ俺たちはみんな怖いし戦いたくねえんだじゃあなんで戦うんだよ戦いたいんじゃねえ戦わなきゃ
Oh yeah, I forgot. ここ様、それでは軽が、ビビ様の手紙を届けに。この国を揺さぶり、苦しめ、破滅に陥れようとしている人物。それはあの黒子ダイルなのです。そして今、私はそこ知れないパワーを私に与えてくれる人たち。
And he scuttles away. Oh, God damn it. Okay, thank God for his sense of smell. Oh no, where's he gonna go though? They all split up. Or he's just gonna end up as roadkill. Oh no. I don't know if they knew what they were doing with that, but that loose slots. <laughs> Casino. <laughs> or maybe my mind's just in the gutter, man. Kick, kick, puff. Uh-oh. いっぱいの人々を切るなんてどういうつもりですか俺はお前とは戦う気はねえぞ老具タウンで勝負はついただろうがついてません私は人たちも浴びていませんからえ、exactly。そうやってあなたはまた私をバカに絶対許さないくそ
obviously are still trying to catch Luffy because, you know, pirate. But he's also still kind of curious about what's fishy going on around here because he can just smell something ain't right. So I would love it if there was like a understanding that gets met when shit does hit the fan and maybe Smoker can even join the fray. I think that would be kind of cool to see him just kind of maybe even reluctantly have to help the Straw Hats, you know, for the greater good. I'm curious to see where all that's going to come to a head because it's not like he's a bad person or anything like that or even one of the bad Marines. He even empathizes with pirates in some kind of way. And I got this vibe because he did. He, did. he admitted to it. He, he respected Roger. And I think he holds, like, the pirate name on such a high pedestal that people just willy-nilly entering the grand line or whatever like he's just like you guys are disrespecting the king of the pirates by even trying to go after the one piece if you can't even get past me you don't deserve to go out there they haven't passed that test necessarily they did slip by him but they didn't defeat him and i think that was kind of the thing here he's got a i don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes i can't wait to see what uh all these characters can do i can't wait to see the group get back into another fray of fights and yeah like, I loved all the setup with this place, but I think I'm ready for the beatdowns to start to kick in. So I'm hoping that's not too far around the corner, but that's all I got for right now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to you. What did you guys think? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for government on the channel, gives you access as well. And speaking of before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherrick, your course, Scott Melito, Robert Anguillonu, Jeffrey L., Jake Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Sam Oyer. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.